It took us forever to finally get here because I kept forgetting stuff in the hotel, so we had to keep going back. Eventually, we had to just take a lift. But we're here now, and we just gotta go find our friends and then a bunch of food, obviously. We decided our strategy is to just walk around the perimeter until we find something that we really wanna try. Oh, wow, that is like really fogging up my lens. <laughs> so we just got the, the poutine from over here and deep-fried watermelon. So we'll see how that all takes. I'm just gonna automatically assume this video is gonna get demonetized because of all the music, so we'll just have to deal with that. But anyway, just the poutine. Wow. The gravy and cheese combination is like really good. It's like, it kind of feels like a glaze, you know? It's super good though. I really like that. It all tastes like a little bit sweet. Like, I, I kind of wonder if there's like some sugar or something in the gravy. It's interesting. So, he said this is like vanilla icing. It was so hot that it all just like melted onto this thing. So, we'll see how this is. Wow. It's like really, I mean, obviously it's really sweet. But it's kind of like a donut texture on the outside. And then it's like a, almost like a grilled watermelon or something in the inside, but with like the vanilla, vanilla icing on top, like really like kind of brings it all together. All right, I should get you trying it too. You look like you really want to try it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty good. Huh? That's this amazing. Like, Can we see? I'll yeah. spread it open. Yeah. <laughs> It just tastes kind of like a, just a donut. Yeah, you know? it tastes yeah. like a donut. You know? Yeah. It's kind of like a fancy jelly donut, but yeah, with yeah. fresh watermelon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's really good. It's a healthy donut. Healthy. Yeah. <laughs> watermelon balances out everything else. So I finally found Josh and Stacy, and apparently I missed uh, Josh shotgunning kombucha before, <laughs> right before True. I turned the camera on. Uh, but we'll, you will get back at it. You guys were like one of the first people here, right? Yes. You were like the first ones in line, and you guys were like the first ones at like the vegan Dell thing, and you guys tried what? Eat Love? Yeah, yeah Eat the Love. Yeah, we were like sixth chicken. in line. Yeah. Yeah. Which is where Kara and Kat are right now. Tradition and convenience are the reasons, ain't it crazy how corporate propaganda turning humans into baby cows? I'm a vegan, you hear me? Of animal products, I'm wary. I'm telling them dairy is scary, so I don't eat cheese, I eat Gary. Not your Rosky, but it's plant based. I'm a vegan. Yeah. Yeah. We had to bring more people up. Good. Thank you, really man. Thank you, I appreciate it. Oh. Wow. We've had a couple of mac and cheese so far this week. This is the best one, I think. Josh, you remember where it's from? It's from like a... It's called Melia's or Melia's. N-E-L-I-A. N-E-L-I-A. Super good. And now we got the... This is from Vegan Love. You guys were like the first ones to have this today, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys were like the first ones in the park, so this is my turn though. Oh, the texture when I bite in, it's like, that's so good. Wow, it's like on the inside. Oh, that's so good. Wow. This is the best vegan chicken I've ever had. I can say that confidently. This breading is like just super, super crunchy. The texture is amazing. I don't know how they did it, but it's so good. I'll leave it to them though to make the stuff like this. All right, we had deep fried watermelon, we had poutine, we've had deep fried chicken and fries, and now we are looking for cold stuff. And Crystal, hello. Uh, we came in with a bona bona, bona bona, bona, bona. ice cream. Yeah. It has an aquafaba meringue on top, so it's gonna be delicious. It better. It, oh, okay. It will be. <laughs> marshmallow on top of your ice cream. Wow. I haven't even gotten to the ice cream yet and this is amazing. <laughs> Alright. No, I'll try a little bit of both. Oh. This is a really good combo. Thank you for the suggestion. Wow. Yeah? This is a good choice, Chris. <laughs> so Kara, what was your favorite thing today? The ice cream with like the meringue. Yeah. It was like marshmallowy and gooey and yeah. 
That was my wow. favorite too. It was super cool how they just had like a torch for everything. Just yeah. Get like a toasted marshmallow. I, mac and cheese. Yeah. That, that was the, I would say that was the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Cheese. It was cold by the time we ate it, but. Yeah. It was. Still pretty impressive. I'm sure it would have been even more dank if uh, mm-hmm. we had it when it was warm. Um, but okay. I'd say like the, the chicken was super good. The deep fried chicken, mm-hmm. uh, which I mean, you really can't go wrong with that. Uh, but especially like the breading, the breading was mm-hmm. like perfect, but the seitan was like great too. It was like really well seasoned and like, it was a really great texture, but it was just like super like crunchy, like a really satisfying crunch. I know you like crunchy things. So like, yes. it was a really satisfying crunch yes. biting into it. What was your favorite thing? The marshmallow, burnt marshmallow yeah. thing on top of the <laughs> ice cream. Yeah. That was Crystal's idea. She told us to come over. Yeah, and that bucket of, like, vegan fried chicken wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't too bad. Well, yeah. the seasoning tasted really good. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, like, the, the outer part was really great. And you guys waited in line for, like, a half an hour. It was more being, than half an yeah, hour. And well, I was saying, like, it, it was at least, like, a half an hour in line. And then it was, yeah. like, at least another half an hour to wait waiting to yeah. actually get your food after you ordered it. Yeah, it was, it was a, like, two lines. It was definitely, it made sense why it was such a long line. Yeah. It, was, it looked really good. Yeah. And it was, yeah, it was... Definitely fried. Definitely delicious. <laughs> yeah, though I've never had deep fried like watermelon or anything either, and like that. Oh was yeah, really that was good. so good. Yeah, and it was it was cool that like you just walk up and you just got it. It wasn't like the other mm-hmm. like uh, like even the mac and cheese. Like I just walked up and you just got it like a minute later. Like uh, the yeah. like the but what was it called? Bo- Bobos or whatever the ice cream we were just talking about. Bon- 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 I can't like bon- literally cannot remember <laughs> bon- I, bon- every time. I yeah, forget. I mean it all kind of blends into one, but like that like. That one had like a big line, which makes sense because it was really good. And like the uh, vegan love, like that one had like for the chicken, that one was a massive line. So it was it was cool that like the mac mm-hmm. and cheese was like this is like a hidden gem. Like it's so good, and there's not a huge line about for this. So yeah. um, I tried to find like a cool kombucha. Although we did find a kombucha that like you just had to like take a boomerang and then they just gave it to you for free. I need more people to this <laughs> Just drop it. Wait, 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 okay. Everybody. What is my, my no! so <laughs> I haven't shot gun anything like his hole was his hole was Alright, so clearly I won. Uh Jess is gonna be next time. I think it was Dr. Brew or something yeah, like Dr. that. Yeah, Dr. Brew. Yeah, I would like to see like more kombuchas, so more kombucha places at uh, places like this. But Last, what, like in 2017, you tried it? At the yeah, well, okay, weekend. so that was my first time ever <laughs> trying kombucha, and I think that was like a very like harsh kombucha. I like things that are like, kind of like a mild kombucha, which like the, the one we had today was like a pretty mild kombucha. Okay. Um, so it like just doesn't taste quite as kombucha-y. You know, more like sparkling flavored water. It's yeah. kind of what I like. Like if you made your own kombucha, probably would be yeah. too strong, and you'd be like, "What?" Yeah. Oh, I, I think if you like just don't let it brew for too long, then I think it's not super strong, which is probably what I would do. But it's also not quite as good for you. But mm. anyway, now we're getting like a kombucha off topic. But <laughs> but that was Vegan Dell 2019, and I really want to yeah. go back to 2020. I mean, it was like really hot, and we all definitely got burnt. Like. Cat, cat's yeah. face and neck and shoulder all got really burnt. My neck got like pretty burnt. Kara, yeah, like, yeah. We didn't. It's just like we didn't really think about the sun. I had a hat on. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, but this will protect me. Yeah, Vegan Dale twenty twenty.